In this video, I will be driving the Acela Express from Providence, Rhode Island into Boston, Massachusetts. Boston, Massachusetts, that is. So let's get the doors unlocked while I set up the cab. I guess most of the stuff is all is already set up. Verser handle has to be turned on. Let's check out the outside of my train just just while we wait here. First class economy. This is what the inside of the train looks like. This is the first class car. Actually, I'll show you I'll show you the inside of the train later. I'll go for late later on when we get to the next stop, we'll go for a quick walk around the train. I'll show you the to see the inside of the train, what that looks like. Oh, nice, very nice. It's very cool. This is very interesting. This is the station. I guess you go, go this, go somewhere that way to go up, go up into the main station. This is kind of like a level in between, a mezzanine level, level in between, to go down to the trains. And this is, and I guess this is the elevator. What? What? This is. We're literally in America. It's an, it's an elevator, not a, not a lift. I don't know why it says lift. Anyways, let's get back in the driver car. And we're gonna close the door. All right, uh, hopefully we'll be able to get up to speed soon enough. Right now, right now we're only able to go 45. So yeah, well, attention passengers, welcome aboard your Acela service to Boston, stopping at Route 128, 
Boston Back Bay, and finally, Boston South Station. So sit back and relax and enjoy the rides. That is all. We hope you have a pleasant journey with us on the Acela Express. Yeah, I don't know why we're getting all these yellow signals, but hopefully, hopefully uh, soon enough we'll be able to speed up. Hopefully we'll be able to speed up soon. Don't don't need that right now. And now it's saying we can only do thirty. That's a shame. the brakes. It seems I have uh, picked a slow route, so I'm on a slow, so I'm on the slow line. So yes, um, attention passengers, the current time, I don't know how long this is going to be, but uh, the current time is... 316 3 p.m. and it looks like we'll be arriving at Route 128 at about 
Okay, so now it's saying we can speed up to 45. And finally, I'm seeing some green signals. So it looks like we can finally start going fast when we get up to this point. We can uh, do start doing 125. And of course, the speed limit now says we can only do 60. I guess when we get up to, I guess when you get up to this section, get up to this section up here, we can, then we can start doing 125. Here's our train just cruising along here. Oh, no, I wasn't even paying attention. Now we can go 125. Put the bell on when as we're going through the station, passing, passing through the station. I guess this is a slower run because there must be a lot of trains ahead of us to because they're because they keep telling us to slow down and to only go 45. So we must have to make way for I don't know if it's oncoming trains or trains that are. Regional train, regional trains that are ahead of us. Yeah, must be the time of, must be, must be the time of day where we have to make way for regional trains ahead of us, or whatever, for trains that are ahead of us, and yield to those guys. The next video I'll do, I'll do a, a faster route so we can get this thing going full speed. Cause yeah, yeah, cause usually, usually we can do 150 here, but the signal speed only, but the signal speed only says you can go 45. 
Because 45 is the authorized speed, even though the track, even though here the track speed is 150. Well, this sucks. We can only go 30 miles an hour on this area. I wonder... I'm going to go ahead and see... In this area, we find... Here, we finally get a green signal. Next route speed, 79 miles an hour. So not... So not... So we're not going to we're not going to be going full speed. Oh, next next one is a green signal. Green signal. And then then we have to slow slow down again. So yeah, this is just like a slower a slower run, I guess. Hello, we're not going any faster, we're just slowly passing the regional train stations because we're not going we're not allowed to go any faster. And now, we're only allowed to go 20. All right. All right, we're just gonna have to...
and of course there's no use even the and of course this section there's no use even speeding up because then it just goes back to a a slow a slow section so there's no no use even speeding up at all yeah it's gonna yeah we're gonna have to bring that down we're gonna have to bring that down to 45 again See, there's no even, there's not even a use uh, speeding. When a signal turns green, there's not even, there's not even any use speeding up because, because uh, um, we're only able to do 45. See, said it said eighty for a bit there, but now it just it's, uh, went back to forty-five. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna peek through the windows to see how my passengers are doing. Not creepy at all. Hi, how are you guys doing? Uh, sorry, sorry the train's going so slow. We got, they got us on this slow route. I guess, I guess we have to, I guess it's the time of day we have to wait for a bunch of other trains ahead of us or something. So yeah, that's kind of what's going on now. Hopefully the passengers are still having a nice, relaxing journey on the Acela.
tape now they're saying we can go back up to 45 again. Oh, now we got to go back down to 30 again. Oh, now we can go up to 45. It changes. It just just changes back and forth on us. Now we can go back up to 45. Slowly going past the station. And finally, we can go faster. And once again, it's not even worth accelerating too much because cause then they're going to tell us that we have to slow back down. Okay, now it says we can speed back up again, but I, I bet you there's going to be a yellow signal once again, and it's not even going to be worth it to speed up. Yep. Yep. Literally. Just as I, just as soon as I said it, there's one, there's once again a yellow signal signaling that that this train can only go faster than 45 miles an hour. Like, what, what kind of a high-speed service is this? Turn the wiper on because it's starting to... I don't know if it's starting to rain. I think it might be starting to snow. We're getting a snowstorm up in these parts. All right, now it's, it keeps going back and forth. Now now they're saying we can speed up. Now they're saying we can go 125, then we can go 130. The ground must be getting slippery because the red means there's wheel a wheel slip. So the ground must be getting slippery.
these red little these red lines means there's a wheel slip so that means so that means it must be and now they're saying we can only go 80. Yeah, I think they're, and I think, yeah, we have to go back. And yes, I think we do have to go back down, and it seems we do have to go back down to 45, so we better, so we, we better do that now. We're get, getting snowy out there. Look at that.
And coming up in the distance, we have uh, a red signal. Hopefully we won't be stopped for too long. very windy. Even the MBTA train is going faster than we are. It's getting darker, getting darker out now. Well, folks, I'm afraid we're gonna be late to the next station because I'm getting all these yellow signals telling me I gotta go slow. This is, uh, the Acela Express train is, is, uh, the Acela slow train tonight. Yeah, it, cha it uh, changes on us. Um, now it's saying we can go back up to 45. And here we are at, uh, here we are at Canton Junction.
Well, it seems it's gonna be a while, so I guess passengers go if you're in first class, hopefully the guy hopefully the the cap the staff will bring around the snack cart so you can get some food and a drink while you're while you're sit while you're sitting on this uh, slow moving train. And I guess if you're in uh, business class, the first class passengers have has the the tray where people where staff would bring around the tray bring around the tray to everybody, right? Yeah, they bring around the tray. They bring around the tray to everybody, and then for the business class passengers, I guess while you're waiting for the train to finally get somewhere, go to the you can uh, go to the cafe car. And uh, get yourself something to eat or drink. Because right now, there's nothing else to really do but wait. And, and we're not even able to go this fast. We're not even allowed to go this fast. We got Okay, now it's back up to 45. It keeps going. It keeps going between 20, 30, and 45. Well, I guess those of you going home to family, you got, I guess those of you going home to family tonight have a, have a fun little, have a fun little story to tell of how, how their, their train, of how their train was so damn slow between Providence and Boston it took them well over an hour just to get there. So yeah, you guys have a, for you guys getting off at this station, going, going home to family, you can, you can, uh, you have a, you now have a story to tell your loved ones of how the, how the train was, how it took forever to get here, cause, cause the train, this evening, the train was so slow. And finally, here we come into Route 128. Those of you coming into Route 128, my sincere apologies for the slow service. Please make sure you collect all your personal belongings before you leave the train. Watch your step as you exit. And thank you for traveling Acela Express Amtrak and have a great rest of your night. I guess for safety purposes, we're supposed to put the brake to full service. Hmm.
All right, so let's get a look at the outside of our train now. This the slow service, so folks, here we are. All I I can only imagine all the people are get all the people getting off at this stop are like, oh my god, finally that train was so friggin' slow. It's the Acela Express. It's supposed to be fast. They're all like, thank God we we were finally we have finally arrived at our destination. That train, cause that, cause for the Acela Express that train was ridiculously slow. Do do do. Nice little station here. Typical. North American train station. All right, let's not waste any more more time, cause let's not waste any more time, because we, because people have obviously people have already waited long enough tonight for the train. And it seems going forward, we're still not allowed to go full speed, so that's a drag. Well, our next stop, our next stop will be Back Bay in about uh, 12 minutes, Boston Back Bay. Unfortunately, we have to go back down to 45 again. Don't worry, folks. The next the next video I the next video I do, we will able I'll I'll pick a a faster route so we'll we'll be able to go full speed. It says we can go 120, but once again, there's yellow signals coming up, so it's so it's not even worth speeding up cuz we'll just have to slow back down. Okay, now it's saying now now it's saying we can go 120. Okay, here we go. Here here we go. Let's see if we can get up a little a little bit of speed. This is probably going to be the fastest we This is probably going to be the 
if we get up to 120, this probably uh, this is obviously going to be the fastest we go tonight. There's the boss. There's the. There's an MDTA train going on to go branching off to another to another line, I guess. Yep, branching off to another line. There. And there it goes. Of course, we have to be careful because those red lines in between the speed, that, that means a wheel slip. And, ah, oh, we have to, we have to slow down once again because, because that yellow signal means we have to, on, we can only do 45 miles an hour. Now, as you can see, the tilts. This train has a tilt feature, but it's not happening as much now because we're not going very fast.
Seems we're coming into the city. Well, s starting to come into the city, anyway. I don't even get the point of the speed limit going to 120 if it's just going to go back to 45. We have this far left to go.
Almost there, folks. Almost there. All right, so here we are at Boston Back Bay Station. And once again, we do apologize for for the delays that you all have had to endure this evening. But by the way, here's what the inside of the train looks like, the inside of the Acela Express. This is the the first class car. I guess everybody's getting off like got to go to Boston screw it I'll take a sub I'll take a subway the rest of the way it's faster than this thing I guess that's why most people have gotten off cuz they're cuz they're tired of waiting they're like screw they're like screw it I'll screw it this I'll I'll take a I'll take a subway the rest of the way it's fat or or call an Uber or something that's fa even that'll be faster than this thing.
Our next and final stop in about 60 seconds will be Boston South Station. Yeah, this is Boston South, isn't it? Yep, this is Boston South. I was right. All right, folks, uh, we are now finally coming into uh, Bos Boston South Station. Please take a moment to look around you to ensure that you have not left anything on the train before exiting. We thank you for your patience tonight, and we'd like to offer you a 50% uh, refund for to make up for that slow service tonight. Thank you for traveling Amtrak Acela, and we hope you have a great rest of your night. Also, please watch your step as you exit onto the platform. Just turn cruise control off. And before I end, 
And before I end this video, let's do a quick... I'm going to give you all a quick tour of the train. So here's the front of the train. There's the, the front of the train. to get this door closed. Before I go, I'm going to I'm going to give you all a quick tour of the train. So this is what it looks like. So this is what a typical Acela Express train looks like. It's very windy out here. You can hear the wind. See, so yeah, this is the first. Uh, so this is the first class car. No, this. Sorry, this is not the first class car. This is just a regular. This is the business class car. Wait, no, this is the first class car. Yeah, so I'll give, so this, we'll start the tour. I'll give you a tour of the first class car. This is what, this is uh, what it looks like. Can't really see out the window because of the weather we're having here, here in Boston. We're in first class. I gotta try out these seats. Ah, uh, oh, these seats are comfortable. Can you put it back? Ah, nice. Can't really see out the window though, because the curtains. Stowage bins. I guess this is where they prepare meals and snacks and that for the first class passengers. Kind of reminds me of the Via Trade. Kind of reminds me of uh, Via Rail Canada actually having the little snack and, and drink area at the here at the front of the train. And then the rest of and then the rest of the Acela coaches, the business the business class coaches can go to the have access to the cafe can go to the cafe car right this is the this is the business class car this is the quiet car but I'm, I'm the only one on here so I'm not gonna worry about that so let's let's take a seat in the business class seat oh this is a eh, still not quite as nice as the first class seat, but still, still pretty comfortable. Very comfortable for for uh, a long journey. Definitely, definitely good for a long journey. Cause like this go, seeing as this this train goes all the way between Washington and here and Boston. And then this is the cafe, and this is uh, what the cafe car looks like. Just a, uh, it's actually, it's actually kind of nice in here. Very nice. I, I, I quite like this interior. It looks very nice.
Well, I better uh, close the doors now. So, hope you enjoyed that video.